Bela Bartok was a Hungarian composer, and he's known to be one of the world's first ethnomusicologists. He actually went into the outer villages, out of the city, out of Budapest. He went with a microphone and recorded these folk singers singing their old folk tunes. Romanian folk dances comes exactly from that. Every theme in those pieces is not original. It's something Bartok heard or transcribed or wrote down, and he brought them to life in the orchestra in his Romanian folk dances. Much of his music was very nationalistic, very Hungarian, because it came from these actual folk songs that had never really been transcribed, just orally from generations of, of people singing or violinists playing. The remaining folk dances of Bartok is actually written also for just solo violin. So when I think of conducting this piece, I think of every member of the orchestra violin section having played this as a young person, just a solo violin part. I feel like they kind of get back to that moment of their teen or younger years when they're playing this piece. You hear the last three movements are just, just a raucous dance that kind of run into each other. I think every kid had a really good time playing it and I feel that energy from the orchestra when we do this piece. Mm -hmm.